So now that we have a Mongo up and running and also we have the beautiful uh, Mongo shell up and running so we can start sending commands to a Mongo database, what can we actually send? What's the commands we can send? Well, if you go under the mongodb.com and under docs, you get in this place and then you go to Mongo server and here's actually a pretty cool thing. Here's uh, some information about the Mongo shell. I just showed you guys how to run, but there's also one called MongoDB CRUD operations. Create, read, update, delete, and there's even one about bulk writing, how we can send a lot of information at once. What we want to do is we want to start using some create operations. So I'm pressing create operations, and it pops up here with a small explanation about how we can insert into a specific collection, right? So we are going to try and insert into the user collections. So why not? We're, not, we're just going to use his example right here. So let's see if we can somehow grab that code. And since they've written it all as images, it's kind of hard, so we'll just write it manually inside here. So what we want to do is we want to add a new collection called users. So I'm going to open this window and let me just make it a bit smaller so we can actually see the insert statement at the same time. Uh, so what we want to write is we want to write DB for our current database. The DB is actually the database we switch to right now. And we're going to write the name of the collection, right? Like the table in the relational database, the collection is the name of it inside this um, one we have right here. And we want to add, we want to insert, we want to insert a document, meaning we want to put something in the database. And then we put in the, the square bracket. This is like our, our um, JSON or BSON format that we're going to start pasting in here. And we're going to add a name for this person. And the name is going to be... Uh, Sue, that's fine. Then we're going to do a comma and we want to add, instead of this, we want it to have a name and let's just have a look at our drawing. What's the second thing? A male. Okay, so let's add a male as well. We'll just make this symbol in the first lesson. We'll add a male and we'll call that um, Sue at home dot LK like this. So we'll end the insert statement. Now Remember, when you do this, a lot of times we end up forgetting, like, for instance, we end up forgetting the, the, the curly brackets, or you end up forgetting something, and then you'll actually get an exception. Let's see if we did this right. So it ends up saying, write result and inserted one. That means that it did insert something to the, table, to the database. So let's try and pull it out. And let me just try and show you that one real fast. I can just do db find like this, and then I get a type error that db, oh, I need to, of course, put in the collection that I want to look in, so db.users, that's the collection, find, and then it'll show up sue here for me. So I just pulled out that object again. And notice, I put in sue with a name and a mail, but I got it back also with an object ID that is a unique identifier. We'll do more about that later, but it's a unique identifier for this specific user. Let me just show you one more thing, and also do find, and I can make it pretty by using the pretty command. Now it's more structured, so it's easier to read what we actually pulled out. So now you just did your first insert and you also did your find to get the sue back from the database. So welcome to Mongo. See you in the next lesson.